Hello everyone, my name is Uthers, and welcome back to Going With Evil. It's a new year, it's a new season of spring, though we're starting with a little bit of a cold snap, which is totally okay for us. Our people are uh, just having a decent time, and I have spent the last year um, actually just letting the simulation run for a while. There was a lot of kind of backlog of things, moving things to storage, uh, crafting to get done, and general upkeep of our, I want to say city now, or just, I don't know if you, when you, at what point does this become a town? I think this is a town now instead of just a village, right? Because we have walls. I think that's kind of like a big deciding factor when it comes to between a town and a village. So we're, we're, we're a proper town, um, and we are gaining our kind of keep area. So last episode, we laid a lot of this out, and in between episodes, I went ahead and finished at least the kind of, um, uh, well, I don't know what happened with my camera there. Uh, I finished the general detailing of the exterior of the uh, uh, feasting hall, um, here in our save. Um, we need to do the interior work, but let's go ahead and just talk about the exterior, which is a little bit different than you guys last saw it. Um, I didn't want to do flying buttressing, and so to me, these aren't really flying buttressing. They're the analog for what would be, say, like a, a woven or some sort of kind of wooden interlocking structure that you might put um, like plant across or ivy obviously that detail we can't do in this game we can't like individually put planks across this you know and then cover it with plants i think that'd be obviously really cool um to give this a little bit more of a regal feel right now it just kind of looks like flying buttressing but honestly it, it's it's technically not right it's just kind of standard buttressing with a covered walkway that is mostly uncovered because of just the block limitation in this game. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, I, re I replaced some of these wooden supports with just stone windows to create some arches, which is nice. And we have all the upper clear story on the right side opened up. The left side, not really fully built out yet because we don't want to go too hard on the detail here until we start laying out the keep itself. We have a covered and a front entry area and a kind of wrapping staircase to the left and the right marked with banners and flags and braziers. So all that fun, cool stuff is going here. Um, no one to name. We are actually at the population cap, everyone. So um, I'm still adding your guys' suggestions for names to the list. And um, if anyone, if we lose anyone, I'll start naming some, some people um, after you guys again. But for now, we're kind of at the end of recruitment. Um, we can actually go into some historical records and see our population kind of go up and down. Max settlers is 16. We've lost a total of four throughout. Um, you can even go to like history to see when people ended up leaving or dying. So uh, like for example, Cloud died in 1355 when we're at all the way at 1359 so apparently cloud has been gone for quite a while um and then uthris Jax died 1356 and then a year later uh Cafalor, I, I guess died um in some sort of raid that i was not paying attention so gotta be mindful of all that um we're up to full full production though so let's go ahead and start talking about what we're building today. First thing, uh, let's go into the feasting hall and work out some of the interior elements. Some furniture is going to be going in here. We're going to go with a stone table, stone table, and then a, probably a wood table in the middle, I think, just for aesthetic. Kind of break it up a little bit. And then from a stool perspective, I actually kind of want all wooden stools. I think that would suffice. And we'll get a nice little wrap around the end there. And even on this end of the table. I don't know why I did that corner. So that is a lot of the interior kind of taken up. Um, we can do some lighting elements. So braziers, 
Might get introduced, say, um, in the corners, on the far corners. Kind of like that. And we can get some wall sconce um, in the middle here. To help brighten it up. Crossed. Which is great. Uh, is there anything else I could do here with the room that we have? Obviously, we're going to need some banners. So let's get, um, let's use shields instead of actual banners in here. I don't use the shields often. So we'll use them where we can. And then say at the back, you can have kind of a double banner at the head. So that'll be the interior of this little dining area, feast hall of some kind. How many people can fit here? Four, eight, 12, 16. Looks like exactly all of our citizens can fit, which is impressive, honestly. I did not plan for that. <laughs> like almost everything I build, I don't plan to work and somehow it ends up doing so. It, uh, it's weird. You guys must be so frustrated to watch. It's like, Uthris must have been out now, no. No, Uthra spends hours simulating and letting the people build, but uh, all the design decisions you guys are kind of seeing in real time. So that's cool. This great hall will be a success. I might actually replace it with this stone table here. I think it would be better. So stone table all the way across. All right, so feast hall is done um, from an interior perspective and mostly this side. Let's talk about what you want to work on for the rest of the episode. And I'm looking at filling in this area here. This is kind of a dead space. Um, it needs to be kind of completed so that then we can move a little bit to the left with the keep itself. And what I want to do in this whole area, uh, number one uh, is the barracks. The barracks is going to be here. So I think this will be a pretty cool section for the barracks. And then down here, I'm gonna do a little bit of a training yard for our citizens. Now we don't have really any target dummies or anything like that currently in the game, which is fine. It's just, I'm used to some more training equipment in these type of colony survival games which might become a thing eventually, not sure, but we're gonna do short walls here and just create kind of like a little yard. And for training equipment, I'm just gonna use some wood. Kind of like that. And use some details for shields as targets, okay? And if I can pull off using wooden torches on the left and the right to kind of give it arms, these are our training dummies. So, uh, boy, take it in, you know? This is very high-tech uh, training equipment. We're gonna turn off all these torches, by the way, so they're not just gonna be on fire the whole time. Very, very high tech training equipment we have here in the yard. Honestly, I'm going to, I'm looking at this wall and it's a little redundant to have. So I'm gonna change this to be more like that. And then that way, We're gonna have a bit of a bigger yard. Give, give them some space to move around, dance around the targets, you know? Have a, have a heckin' good time over here. Okay, and let's do the decoration again. So shields, shield, shield, and then walls, torch on each side. Very nice. 
this is the training yard. Um, I, I wouldn't mind maybe doing some sort of, maybe, texture here, loosely with like wood. floor just to kind of wear it in a little bit all right so that's the little training yard um, I'm thinking about making an archery range also using a lot of the similar techniques here I just don't have the spot for it yet or we might not have the spot for it I'm not quite sure at this time so let us design the actual barracks. It's gonna be a pretty square building, I would say. I'm gonna be probably drawing a lot of inspiration from like Warcraft. That's just kind of how it goes here a lot of the time. We're also gonna Dig this out. We're gonna get a staircase in here so we can work in the valley area because this might have like a lower floor. Not sure on how that's going to work. We can get some defensive barriers just like to there. The fact that this whole area is gonna be like covered in stone um, and like buttressing is gonna make this whole section look very um, imposing, but also very defended. You know, even just this staircase, the fact that we have battlements around it is a very defensive area. No real towers though, no, you know, and I don't even really have a gatehouse, which is pretty crazy to think about that we don't have one of those. Edgar, why are you on conscience, bro? Hypothermia? I mean, I suppose it is negative 40 degrees Celsius outside. Everyone is just freaking out and freezing. That's fine. That's fine. Um, something that I did place temporarily. Um, I put a advanced research table here because I did want to start researching. Um, and the main thing that I want to research is... <sighs> Gotta scroll over. Um, I'm going to start with armor 2. Okay, um, and now we can go over to our armor bench and add these to the queue. It's good. All right, so let's see, we can do mail till you have six of, yeah, okay, do that. Great. So we have six male chest pieces, and then edit till we have six male helms. We use sticks as the heat there. So we can add that to our list, because what I wanna do is if I open up our armor um, and go to Ranger, you can see Ranger is currently wearing everything up to mail. And then Warrior is starting at mail, going to plate. Um, flawless quality on both, 60, anything over 60% HP. Anything less than that, honestly, um, I don't think is very good because as you, um, as they get damaged, they lose a lot of their armor rating. So Beth is going warrior. Rusty is gonna go warrior. All of our melee people will go warrior. Cat Bob. Edgar. Ranger, Honor Nav is already Ranger. 
Camden is no Jake. Jake Warrior. Camden. Ranger. Jithu. Ranger. Marius. Warrior. Warrior. Okay. Awesome. Let's go ahead and make sure that everything can be picked up that they dropped. For some reason, when you switch their clothes out, they just kind of throw it on the ground. I don't know why they do that, honestly. I think it's, it's kind of a big waste of supplies. All right, let's do, let's do, uh, how, we, how are we doing on building over here? All right, well, while they're doing that, we'll just keep on managing. Okay, so we have all the armor kind of set. Um, let's talk about headgear. Okay, so edit headgear. We're going to add new. This one's going to be Rangers. Uh, again, a 60% up to flawless. No caps. It is going to be um, pretty much leather helmets for our Rangers. Ranger Camden Rangers Jifu Rangers Okay and then our warriors gear Okay we'll just keep them using the helmet one it's just the only thing they're do is mail or uh, plate or great helms. So one of these three, right? Uh, it's got to be 60% flawless. Okay, so helmet has been updated. Make sure all the rangers drop their hats. I won't go into the weaponry just yet. I'll let, I'll let them use kind of whatever for now um, until we get a little bit more upgraded weapons and then I'll start worrying about that, I think. I'm gonna do another round of cleanup because everyone dropped their helmets now, or hats. All right, and the temperature outside seems to be warming up. So, we're gonna go ahead and switch everyone from their winter to summer attire. Summer, summer, all the little maintenance thing. I wish there was a way to like select all. <laughs> to be honest, that would be much appreciated. Summer, 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 and summer. Okay. About halfway through autumn is when we will turn their clothes back to winter. This also gives their normal clothes a chance to be broken down. Also, like uh, if we come over here, if they took any damage, which they might have a little bit, I just rotate between summer and winter. Essentially, the clothes will last twice as long, right? At least that's the hope. Over here with this research bench, um, eventually once the um, little bit of barracks is complete, we will turn this into like a jail, I think. So look forward to that. Um, can, is it possible for me to get like a single tower here? Um, actually, it needs to be... A bit bigger to actually fit some staircases. I'm going to go five, right? 
five by five. So I want a little tower here. Just kind of make this thing look a little bit more fortified. And we might do like a little bit of a an above ground battlement on this side and this side. And maybe just the tower is the staircase to get you there. I think that's probably the route we're gonna have to take with it. Um, because of that, this farm, our little little area to grow things is going to have to go away. Because people will no longer be able to reach back there. Replanting the farms are going to take a fair amount of time. Wounds need healing. Hypothermia, okay, you're fine. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Anyways, thanks everyone for uh, voting on the last episode or so on who the new leader of Uthopolis should be. It's been interesting reading through those, which is basically almost 100% people voting for Cat. <sighs> I'm surrounded by cats forever in real life and in video games. Um, but I'm gonna leave let that run for a few days to give everyone kind of a chance to vote there before closing it down completely. I'm gonna add that some floors that's looking good how's the interior doing Ooh, the interior is all nice who's uh closer to these flawless linen winter clothes has everyone been able to find some stuff to wear okay we have rangers Looks like they're preferring Gambesons right now. Which isn't bad. I mean, the Gambesons are pretty good, honestly. Our warriors, though. Missing out on the armor. Bit of a concern. So let's, uh, let's put male armor up on the higher crafting list. Same thing with male helmet here. We're gonna have to craft some of those. I built a new well over here, too. So we'll go ahead and detail out this floor a little bit. Destroy those. Make that connect smoothly to the rest of the road work. A lot of work being done. Oop. So this lower area um, of the of the little barracks might end up being some sort of armory type thing. As we loop around, it'll be the next time this loops to a floor will be the top of the tower, probably. Might 
find another way all right so main door what uh, okay so it's a double wide which is perfectly fine we can maintain that so four and four kind of want to have a room for the room. Maybe. Could do that. Pathway over here. Maybe use some bricks to delimitate the edge. That wasn't really required until about now. Looks like we're getting a raid. What do we what do we got? Big old people with big old hammers. Uh none of our people are wearing armor. I just had them drop it all. Okay. Um we have a moment. I have to manually equip some stuff here. So let's see if there's any mail around. Or did we break it all down? Oh, isn't that looking good? Oh, it's not looking good. Mm. Nope. here all right we're just oh, we're gonna have to see if we can get through it all right. luckily they don't have any archers which is good for us let's go ahead and assemble the militia and the raid is down here, so they're gonna quickly come over here and try and get up the steps. Okay. Let's go Kevin, Arnav, Alex, and Jithu. Okay. Camden, get over there. Cat, get over here. Rise. Reese. Reese. Your name is Reese, not Rise. Uh, where the heck is the rest of my people? I am missing an archer. Oh no, there, there's Edgar. Okay. Here we go. We have some traps though. So this may or may not work out for us. Most likely not. <laughs> oh boy, good luck. These guys are actually wearing armor. And the male guys are gonna show up last, which is probably for the best. They're obviously slower. And that guy's got a massive two-handed sword. It's gonna be a problem. Let's see. There's a crossbow, Arnav. So you can see how much more range the crossbow has. 
Which honestly, I kind of can't wait until I have more people using crossbows. All right, so Robert's caught. Garwolf's caught in the trap, which is good. All right, the fighting has begun. I have to be extremely careful here. Hopefully with the lack of armor. Oh my lord. All right. Jake. Get out of here. Back that up. Keep going, Jake. You're 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 completely out of the fight. Edison's down. Arm lacerations, all that like. Bob's gonna go up here. Jake, why are you still fighting? Flee. Okay, a thread is dead. Barth. Can't get over here. Marius, over there. Gerald is dead. Can I get Robert down? All right, well, Robert's down. Gang up on this last person here. Oh, they're all running? All right, quickly. Unassign all the melee. Let the range do their things for a little bit. Assign you. All right, Camden. All right, Edison, you're being carried to safety. Okay, Here, everyone is... <laughs> the lack of armor was so dumb. Are we even gonna be able to attend to everyone's wounds here. I have no idea. Unconscious. I think everyone has okay blood. Uh, Edison, you are kind of the weakest, but it looks like you're getting healed up now, so. I honestly expect a full recovery by everyone. It may or may not happen. Archers did work, so good job, Archer Squad. You guys and your gambesons and your helmets. Awesome work. And we're living there. So tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish blueprinting this out up here and show you guys uh, kind of what I'm thinking. All right, so here is uh, the finished training yard. They went ahead and built this while I was trying to clean up and, and dig out the lower parts here of the barracks. Um, we have kind of the, the rough support structure built out here and a bit of the tower staircase that's gonna be going up this one side. That'll then lead to the couple battlements that's going to kind of follow along the edge of the building. Um, next, next floor will probably be designed next episode. Uh, down below here, on the ground floor this is going to be an armory um, you can access it one from outside and then two from the internal tower itself so that's pretty cool uh, this will give us a lot more storage to dedicate to our equipment and maintaining weapons in armor and stockpiles uh, in fact i'm going to go ahead and Put that out now so this is clear all and warfare so we get armor shield and weapons all stored here in this lower section and that should keep things a little bit more organized 
in here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So, you know, we finished one detailing little project here, and we are starting on the barracks. So this one might be a two-parter. Once this barracks is done, I might um, try to wall this section off and connect the barracks to it in some regard. And then we can start moving on to some additional items. Uh, research, it looks like we are getting close to getting a new item. I'm personally thinking about getting, oh, probably the next research table. No, not the next research table. That would, that'd be a cop out. Maybe the chemistry lab. Yeah, I think the chemistry lab would be good. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, continue voting on the episode 13 of this series to continue nominating we're not really nominating. There's only three people in the running. Uh, keep on voting for the next leader of Uthopolis. Um, if you guys enjoyed this content, feel free to subscribe. Hit that like button. And we'll see you all in the next video.